hidden well farmers <laughs> this is my beautiful wife miss Susan she's with me tonight <laughs> behind me you'll see uh, a beautiful mountain of course it's just an absolute gorgeous day in Kentucky and um, we're standing basically in one of my hay fields one of our hay fields we have about um, 80 acres of of usable uh, pasture and so when we first bought the farm um, I always get <laughs> tickled when I say when we bought the farm but when we purchased the farm you, you know there was a <clears throat> there was a lot of neglect this place just had not been mowed it had not been fertilized it was really grown up with a lot of weeds and and all sorts of different things and so <clears throat> We set out to do pasture improvement. And the first year that we were here, we had somebody else come in and mow and take the hay, but they were, they were sorely disappointed in not only the time that it took to mow it and get it dry and rake it and bale it, but the production was terrible and it was 90% weeds. I mean, it just had a lot of stickers and briars they come and did all that work, and they didn't even take half of the hay home with them. They just left it here, <laughs> and and I can't I can't really blame them for that. It was just really poor quality. So the second summer that we were out here, we kind of concentrated on decreasing weeds and just trying to get the pastures to where we could mow them, and and. That was a that was a big accomplishment, and we we did gather up 890 about 890 bells last year. But Susan will tell you most most of it was not good quality. Um, I sold about 250 bells and sold it cheap, and I told people who bought it, I was like, most of it is Ceresa, but it's got a lot of weeds in it, and. You know, they took it because there's just a lot of options and it was dirt cheap. But um, I was still buying hay uh, last winter just to try to make up. And so last fall, uh, well, actually last summer, we did soil samples. After we kind of got the weeds and everything under control, we went through the fields and we did soil samples and we had that analyzed at the extension office and we got a report back on what we needed to do. And uh, last fall, Susan and I had 50 tons of lime spread on the farm. And um, that, was, that was pretty incredible to, to see that much lime. And, and it was a, a little over $5,000 to do that. But we got it all down pretty heavy. Uh, and recommendations is to do that again next fall not this fall but next fall to do that again and then we'll be set for a while but we could tell a difference just by liming the grass this spring was greener it was thicker and our weeds in our fields were was down I would say close to 60% between the mowing and the lime and the fact that the grass got kind of a head start and so this spring, with our first cutting, as we went through and cut the fields, our production was still pretty low. We harvested about 400 bales this spring off of the entire 80 acres. Now these are really big 80 pound square bales. But as we, um, as we went through and cut everything early spring, we came back and that same soil sample we fertilized we came behind and fertilized and we did not because of rain and weather get a july um, or even an august cutting our cutting got delayed until september and this is the last of it here on the third of october but just on that same 80 acres we are pushing 1200 bales and um so it it's it's not only doubled, but it has tripled our production. And that's just with one cutting, 
triple production. If we had the whole season with the benefit of that lime and that fertilizer, we would probably be looking at um, five 5,000 bales. I, I'm really confident that it would be huge. Some of the hay was taller than my rake right here that you see behind me. Uh, if you was to park the rake in the field, you wouldn't be able to find it. And it was so thick, it would take a week to a week and a half for some of it to dry. We would fluff it and tet it. We um, lost the horses once. And, and do what? We lost the horses. Yeah, the we would come out and the horses would be in the grass and we couldn't see them. That's how yeah, they're, Until tall they put their head did. up. <laughs> but uh, our weeds have dropped by 80% just by uh, mowing and um, improving the grass quality. And so what we're going to do um, this week is we're actually going to sow some seed. We're going to throw in some red clover, a little more orchard grass. There's a lot of timothy in here and uh, a lot of fescue and there's still quite a bit of cerisa. But I would like to, uh, I'd like to throw some red clover in here and, uh, and, and some more orchard grass and see if we can't get that blend up a little bit. It does really well on this type of soil. Uh, and, and I'd like to get that protein content up just a little bit. And so we just wanted to share with you the last of our hay in this beautiful evening out here at Hidden Well Farms. <laughs>